try any of the products that I mentioned in today's video, this is the one that you have to try. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabby and in today's video, I wanted to go over some of the skincare products that have done amazing things for my skin. So I'll just start by telling you guys what my skin is like. So I have combination skin. I have very oily T-zone and very dry patches like right here in like my chin jaw area. And I have struggled with my skin ever since I was a teenager. Ever since I hit that 13, 14 year old mark, I started getting quite a lot of pimples and was really struggling with the oiliness in my skin. So I started getting into skincare when I was around that age. I bought a lot of different products, tried to see what would work and what would help me with my acne, with my oiliness. But just recently, I've been finding products that work really well for my skin, have improved my skin texture, and have helped control some of my problem areas like my oiliness and my dry patches on my skin. With skincare, I don't mind splurging every now and then with some certain products because I believe taking care of your skin is so, so, so important. If you would ask my mom she's the one that taught me you know to really start taking care of your skin from such a young age when she was younger she didn't really take so much good care of her skin she didn't wear too much sunscreen and now she's dealing with the consequences years down the line so I believe that it's okay to invest in splurge in certain products here and there especially down the line in your later years your skin will thank you so much but actually a lot of products that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video are drugstore brands your girls on a budget I cannot be spending 50 60 dollars on a moisturizer so i really wanted to find something that's the best of both worlds affordable pricing and a product that does wonders on my skin so i also just wanted to give a little disclaimer before i get into the products that i want to show you guys i just wanted to let you all know that i'm not a professional I'm not a dermatologist these are products that have just worked for me over the years and products that i swear by products that i will show you in this video might not work for you or have not worked for you in the past this is just my opinion for entertainment purposes i just wanted to show you guys what has worked on my skin and what has really helped my skin texture and i really want to mention to you guys before you start your skincare routine to remember to always always wash your hands and there's a lot of bacteria and germs on your hands from the day and before you start touching your skin and applying all your serums and moisturizers it's a really good idea to just wash your hands with some water and soap so because i have combination skin and it's more on the oily side i like to cleanse my face twice a day once in the morning and once at night and at night time when I want to remove my makeup and all of my impurities I like to do something called double cleansing so first I start with a micellar water so the micellar water that I'm currently using is this Garnier micellar water this one you can find in any kind of drugstores Walmart shoppers and it's super affordable it's only six to seven dollars and this Garnier one really helps to also moisturize your skin especially my dry patches that I do have with the micellar water I just put pour it on a cotton round and just swipe it all over my face removing all of my makeup and I just want to say be extra careful when you get to your eye area this is the most sensitive skin that you have in all of your face so don't be tugging and rubbing super super hard what I like to do is again a separate cotton round just for my eye makeup I pour a bit on the cotton round and leave it on my eye for 10 to 15 seconds so it starts to dissolve the makeup without having to rub and tug on your skin and then after those 10 seconds I start to gently <laughs> very gently wipe the makeup off your eyes I feel that after I do that it leaves my skin a lot more fresher and cleaner before I go in with my cleanser and what I like about this Garnier one is that it works for all kinds of skin types especially sensitive skin types which I notice is something that I have as well I notice that I have to be very very careful when trying new products because if it's something that has a lot of fragrance and a lot of different chemicals and products it can really damage my skin and can cause a lot of breakouts there's also another micellar water that is called bioderma it's the same thing as this Garnier one. I've used the Bioderma before. It is a little bit more on the expensive side compared to the Garnier one. And I mean, I try them both. And for me, they act about the same with my skin. So I'd rather save a few dollars and get something like the Garnier one when it's pretty much the same thing. And they both work really well with my skin. So again, I'm just gonna save a few dollars and I like to go with the Garnier one, but the Bioderma one is also a really good option if you wanna try that one out. Okay, so after I'm done, with 
with my first cleansing step, I like to go with my cleanser. And I'm sure many of you are not gonna be surprised with what cleanser I'm about to show you. If you are in the YouTube social media space, I'm sure you've heard of Hiram, the king of skincare. And he has promoted the CeraVe cleanser for a long, long time. And even still, he says this is a really, really good cleanser. So I decided to give it a try. So that one is a foaming facial cleanser. It's a gentle daily face wash for oily skin and it's suitable for sensitive skin and it's fragrance free. So if you watch Hiram before, you know fragrance free is the word to look for in your products because it is great for sensitive skin and can cause less reaction and less breakouts. So this cleanser is formulated with hyaluronic acid, which helps to retain the skin's natural moisture. And it also contains niacinamide, which is also a really good ingredient to look for in your skincare products because it helps to calm sensitive skin. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do use this cleanser twice a day, once in the morning when I first wake up and once at night after my micellar water cleanser. Since I do have on the oilier side of the combination skin, I have recommendations for dermatologists to cleanse twice a day to help reduce the oiliness in my skin. So with the CeraVe cleanser, I like to just wet my face with some water first, put some product on my hands and then work the product all over my face. I like to rub the product all over my face for around 30 to 60 seconds. I feel that that time is enough time for the product to work really well and to remove all of the leftover makeup that the micellar water did not get. Ever since I bought this cleanser, I really, really love it and it's something that I would definitely purchase again. I love that this cleanser is super, super gentle on my sensitive skin. It removes all of my makeup really well and it controls my oily areas without drying out my dry patches. This CeraVe cleanser, I mean, as you can see, the bottle is really, really big. I believe when I bought it, it was around $20, but I think that's a really good value for what you get. I mean, I bought this a few months ago and I still have felt like maybe I would say this much left and that's me using it twice a day. Sometimes it's really hard to find the CeraVe cleanser because Hiram gave it his stamp of approval. So when I do find it on the shelves, I do buy it, but there's also another one that I've heard really good things about, but I have not bought yet. Is it La Roche Posay? Posay? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's another cleanser. It's also a drugstore brand that you can find here at Shoppers. So I'm definitely going to give that one a try once my CeraVe one is done because I really want to see how that cleanser is going to do with my skin. And I believe the CeraVe and the La Roche cleanser are about the same price point. So once I'm done my CeraVe one, I will definitely give the La Roche Posay one a try. Okay, once my skin is all nice and clean, I like to use the Kate Somerville Liquid Exfoliate. It's in this little bottle here and this one's basically an exfoliator i only use this twice a week i mean i've researched a lot and i swear by everything that Hiram says because a lot of these products are once recommended by Hiram, and they have done such wonders for my skin and he mentions using physical exfoliants like the say knife scrub are not very good for your skin so he says if you would like to exfoliate use a liquid exfoliant and that is a lot better for your skin so that one is a leave-on exfoliant that i put on right after my cleanser and then I add on my serum and my moisturizer so you can leave it on overnight you don't have to worry about taking that off so this product is really good to get rid of that dullness texture on your skin and it's also really good for uneven skin and it helps to minimize your pores and this product is definitely good for a combination skin oily skin and if you have dry skin as well so every time I get a pimple no matter if it's big or small or wherever it is I can guarantee you that it's gonna leave a mark and a scar on my face some of these pimples I never touch I don't do anything they just come grow they hurt and then they go away and they leave huge marks on my face and this liquid exfoliator helps so much to minimize the look of these scars to the point where they eventually do go away I really swear by this product I don't know what I did without it but now I religiously use it twice a week like I said before it helps to get rid of my acne scars it has greatly improved my skin texture and pores it has minimized them and made my skin a lot a lot better so with this product like the cleanser I like to put it on a cotton round and just again swipe it all over my skin and sometimes right here especially where I do have those acne scars and that's it it's a super super simple way to exfoliate your skin without using those physical scrub 
this liquid exfoliant it's a little bit more on the expensive side this small bottle here is $29 Canadian they do sell the bigger bottle but I think that's twice what this one costs I like to buy the smaller bottle of this liquid exfoliant because I do only use it twice a week it does last me quite a while so I like to just buy the cheaper and smaller version of it but I have heard a lot of great things about the Paula's Choice liquid exfoliant that one is on the cheaper side and I think it comes in a little bit of a bigger bottle the Paula's Choice one is $25 compared to the Kate Somerville one that I have which is $29 so definitely once I'm done this little bottle here I'm definitely gonna try the Paula's Choice one okay if you're gonna try any of the products that I've mentioned in today's video this is the one that you have to try definitely definitely have to try this one because I swear by this one and I've recommended it to all my friends and all my family because I started using this before I started using the Kate Somerville liquid exfoliant and I've noticed such an improvement on my skin this one is once again Hiram approved it is the ordinary niacinamide 10 percent sink 1 percent serum this is definitely a must-have if you're battling breakouts it helps to regulate sebum production it minimizes your pores and it keeps your complexion clear calm and collected and it also really helps to improve your skin's texture and smoothness so that is perfect for me and my skin because I do get acne every once in a while once a month when it's that time of the month and I do battle with oiliness I really feel that this product has helped a lot with controlling the oiliness of my skin so before trying out all these products I would put on my makeup first thing in the morning powder it because I really wanted matte skin I didn't want it to be super oily especially in my t-zone and within an hour or two I would start to see oiliness on my skin now since I'm using these products I can go I would say half a day maybe till the afternoon before I see any oiliness on my skin so I definitely swear by this serum and the exfoliant and the cleanser because they're all targeting my oily areas without drying out my dry patches my skin has never looked as good as it has in these past year past few months since I started using this product especially the texture of my skin I used to have really huge pores that would be so prominent even if I would wear makeup you would still see them poking out and this serum has been one of the things that has really helped to minimize my pores I really get to notice that my skin texture has improved and my pores have been minimized a lot when I put on my makeup my makeup before wouldn't sit really well on my skin you would see a lot of texture in my pores but now my makeup just glides on my skin it looks so flawless it sits very nicely and my pores are not very visible at all honestly it looks like I have the beauty filter on from TikTok because everything just glides on so easily there's a lot of smoothness in my skin texture and I love that my pores are less visible now and the best part about this serum is that it's only five dollars and ninety cents Canadian another great product that's not gonna break the bank so out of all the products in this video please 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 give this serum a try and let me know how it works out for you because it has done wonders on my skin so now we're gonna go into my moisturizers because I do have combination skin that's why I like to do two different kinds of moisturizers the first one that I have is the Ole Hungarian water essence calming facial moisturizer it comes in this little bottle here and comes from a drugstore I buy these at Walmart or shoppers wherever I can find it so since you can find this Olay moisturizer in drugstores the price point is amazing it runs about eight dollars Canadian up to ten dollars so this is a lightweight moisturizer it has no parabens no oil no fragrance and no silicone plus it's made with some key ingredients like hydrating Hungarian water essence which includes aloe cucumber and white tea so this moisturizer is really high hydrating enough for my dry patches but because it's a non-greasy formula it also works really well for the oily parts of my skin so at night after I am done putting my ordinary serum I go in with this Olay moisturizer all over my skin but in the mornings I do like to do two different moisturizers so I use the Olay one for my drier patches but on my oily t-zone I like to use this moisturizer this one is the first aid beauty coconut water cream it helps to hydrate smooth and recharge so I feel that this first day beauty moisturizer really helps to control my oiliness throughout the day since it's an oil-free refreshing light water cream so I use the Olay for these areas here so my chin my cheeks and the sides of my forehead but then I take the first day beauty one and apply it here on my forehead on my nose and 
right under in my lip area and that one really helps my skin to appear smoother and softer which is perfect for my nose area since that's where most of my pores are so this first aid beauty moisturizer is on the pricier side it is $49 Canadian for this bottle here but I feel that it does help a lot with my oily t-zone and since I only use it once a day on a small area of my face I feel that it's worth the price point because I bought it again like my other products a few months back and I still have quite a lot of it I mean you don't have to use a lot of this product just a small little dab and it's good enough for your oily problem areas so I have a very basic skincare routine I just cleanse exfoliate about two times a week I put on my serum and then I moisturize I feel that my skin has really benefited from having a simpler skincare routine I don't put a lot of products on just because again my skin likes that simple routine so after I moisturize that's it I go to bed or I'm ready for my day the last skincare product that I want to mention to you guys today it's the Kate Somerville Eradicate so that Kate Somerville Eradicate is an amazing spot treatment that I use anytime I see a pimple coming I swear by this product so whether it's over the surface or still underneath the skin I like to just get a q-tip put some product on it and just dab it on my pimple or acne breakouts and I notice after I use this product it reduces a lot of the redness and the size of the pimple there's even sometimes if the pimple is small enough where I use this spa treatment and it completely gets rid of the pimple the next day and usually with this product I just leave it overnight and in the morning I just again cleanse and wash my face and get rid of the product and with this eradicate spot treatment it's also one of the ones that it's more on the expensive side that spot treatment is $31 for that little bottle that again with most of the products that I seem to have that are more on the expensive side has lasted me quite a while because I don't use them too much every day and or I only use a little bit a day with the spot treatment you only really use when there's acne or a pimple on your face that you want to get rid of so it's worth it to spend that money on this product it works really well and it's gonna really help your blemishes so that's it you guys those are all the skincare products that I've been using for the past year and that have done wonders on my skin like I said it's a very basic skincare routine but it's one that my skin has loved and I've never seen my skin look better than it does now so thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if if you liked it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.